Good day, dear brothers and sister in Christ. Is unlike every month we have known thus far. This is a really important period. The Lord has been urgent in speaking to me. Calling for every one of His children to be ready for the days ahead, He has directed me to bring a heavenly message to you. God has especially instructed us to keep the essentials on hand at our home's front doors. One should not consider this as a hint to relax. Child of God, be of sober mind and attentive heart. The Lord is delivering a clear and urgent signal ahead of time to guarantee that you and your family are safeguarded in the next days. This message originates from the innermost heart of God and is revealed by divine direction. It is not created out of simple human wisdom. Trusting that every word has been positioned here for your safety, spiritual preparation, and ultimate protection, I feel great weight on my soul to convey it to you. So, beloved child of God, kindly pay great attention. As we go in knowing what the Lord is leading us to accomplish in this turning month, open your heart and ears to the direction of the Holy Spirit. Like the video and share it with your loved ones before continuing. Just yesterday evening, when I knelt in prayer asking the Lord's direction concerning the disturbing occurrences occurring throughout the world, God revealed to me something absolutely special and profoundly essential. He had already discussed four items every Christian should have in their houses few months ago while we wait for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to return. Essential symbols of spiritual preparation and protection, these objects were, but this time, God has instructed me to show you two particular objects that should be kept ready in your house for November 2024. I am driven to share a verse that unlocks God's call to us in this hour before I reveal these objects. Deuteronomy 6, 6 9 addresses squarely the basis of what I am about to reveal, and these commands you now will be on your heart. You will teach them assiduously to your children. You will discuss them when you sit in your house, when you stroll by the road, when you lie down, and when you get up, you will write them on your house's doorposts and on your gates. They will be frontlets between your eyes, and you will bind them as a sign on your hand. Though these words were given to God's people centuries ago, they really speak to the message the Lord has sent me right now. As pertinent now as it was then is the idea of protecting our houses, imparting His words, and giving His promises top priority in our life. God is once more calling us to make our homes a stronghold of His protection and a haven of His presence. Now, dear child of God, I have to tell you exactly what the Lord revealed to me word for word. These are divine directions to guard us from the spiritual obstacles that lie ahead, not only recommendations. Children, I am the Lord your God who carried you from the house of slavery out of the land of Egypt, and this time in this season, I spoke to you urgently and very deliberately. You have seen the science. You have sensed the change in the spiritual sphere. Now I ask you to go active. My people have to be ready for a great unveiling in November 2024. Prepare these two things at the entryway of your homes. I have a printed copy of Psalm chapter 91 and the holy, the oral copy. Though basic, these two objects carry great spiritual meaning. They are signals of God's covenant, His protection not just tangible items, acting as a barrier and shield against the darkness trying to penetrate our houses during this crucial period, they are positioned at their entrance. The Holy Oral captures God's anointing upon His people. The Lord gave us this oral to anoint our home's doorposts and entrances. This is not only symbolic, this is a spiritual and physical statement declaring that the Lord guards our houses. Blessed and hallowed, the Holy Oral acts as a barrier against the powers of anarchy and devastation trying to enter the houses of Christians. Anoint your house with faith and passionate prayer, calling upon the name of the Lord and so surrounding and safeguarding you. As you do this, the Lord promises His angels to gather around your house and defend you from the powers of evil. The anointing of your house with Holy Oral will function as a divine seal of protection much as the blood on the doorposts on the Passover spared the children of Israel. Usually referred to as the Psalm of Protection, the second object the Lord has instructed us to display at our doors is a printed copy of Psalm chapter 91. This striking section of the scriptures reminds us of God's pledges to protect His people. Post this printable at your house's front door as a continual statement of your faith in God's Word. By doing this, you declare that the Lord Himself is your refuge. So no harm, no evil, 
and no tragedy will come your dwelling. Psalm 91 captures the core of God's protective ability. One who lives under the cover of the Most High will walk in the shade of the Almighty. I shall tell the Lord, my fortitude and haven, my God I rely on. These are holy shields covering your house, and they will serve as a constant reminder of God's unflinching faithfulness throughout these turbulent years. November 2024 will not be any like any previous month we have known. Events that challenge the fundamental foundations of the earth, indications in the heavens and on the planet below will be evident. We will see events that can instill in many people uncertainty and anxiety in their hearts. The Lord tells us nevertheless, Fear not since I am here with you. My word will sustain you, my spirit will lead you, and my presence will guard you. We have to be anchored in prayer during this period. We have to hunt the Lord's face with great effort and pay attention to His words above all the world's noise. Deception will not win you. The opponent wants to split and annihilate. But keep in mind, child of God, Jesus arrived to provide us life, not only life but enough of it. As we enter this prophetic moment, stand strong in your faith, grab on to God's promises, and you will witness His great hand of relief. Type I am ready in the comment section if you are ready to follow these heavenly directions or if you affirm God's call to prepare. Let us come together in faith and help each other in prayer and respect of God's word. Knowing that our God is faithful to defend and deliver his children, let us stand together as the body of Christ, ready our homes and hearts for the days ahead. Dear children, pay close attention. There will be difficulties during the next days. Still, I want you to grab this reality and have heart. You are not choosing this road by yourself. To lead you into complete truth and insight, I have spilled my spirit over you, the Comforter. My spirit is with you to uplifting you, consoling you, and reminding you of the things I have discussed. Like a torch to guide your steps and the light to illuminate your way, I have given you my word, my live word. This is your anchor, your basis under trying circumstances. Never overlook it, since it is your shield from dishonesty and your means of heavenly insight. I have also given you to each other. You are not on this road of faith alone travelers. Nonetheless, members of one body, my body, the church, help one another in love, unity, endurance, and consistency. Knowing that I am there in the middle of two or more assembled under my name, let your fellowship be a source of strength. You are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses, both in heaven and on earth pushing you to run your course with endurance. You do not carry your responsibilities alone. If you enjoy our content and want to support us, click on the Super Thanks button below. Your Super Thanks is not just a donation, it is a blessing that supports our mission to share the transformative journey of Jesus.